Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a quick review and unboxing of this gaming controller for your iPhone. The brand that makes this is actually by Neutery. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right, but uh, they recently sent this out to me for this review. And the specific model here on the back is the ZHX-M1. So let's go ahead and unbox this. All right, so on the front of the packaging, you guys might be able to see it. They kind of have like an outline of the controller. So it looks pretty cool. All right, and it opens up on like a little hinge. So it's pretty nice. They have like a little instruction thing right there. Kind of explains how to actually put your phone in here. All right, so here is the controller. It's pretty heavy. It's a little heavier than my backbone. So that's something to keep in mind, but it's a slightly different design. It still feels solid. We'll definitely be taking a closer look at that in one moment. All right, and that's about all you guys get in the box. You guys get the full manual right there. So like I was saying earlier, this fits iPhone. So there's a little lightning connector right there. So to connect it, we're gonna see if I could do it with a case on, most likely not. This is a pretty big case and uh, most controllers I have to take it off anyways. All right, so it's pretty important to put this in the right order. You start by putting the top of your phone in and then you slide that lightning port straight into the phone. All right, so I heard a click. You can see the little light down here flashing. Definitely feels solid in the hand. My phone seems very secure and I really like the materials that they've put on here. On the back here, we have like a grippy material. It's not just like a normal plastic. It's some a little nicer at least. And then the layout's pretty similar to like maybe a switch or something like that. You guys get two bumpers right there. You guys get four buttons up here, your X, Y, B, and A, two joysticks, an arrow pad. Looks like you even have like a screen record button right there, a home button. And you guys do have the opportunity to charge this while you guys game. There's another lightning port right there. So that's how you keep your phone charged up while you're playing. All right, so I'm gonna load up a very easy game to play. I've used this a lot with my backbone, so we'll see how this compares to that. And if you guys don't know, the backbone's just another controller that's pretty similar to this one. All right, so just to give you a closer look at what this thing is like, I'm gonna get real close to the camera there for you guys. So the controls work pretty well. I did not have to download any apps. I just kind of plugged it in and it seems to be automatically kind of getting all the controls right. Jumps just kind of like a normal controller. Maybe we'll look around. And if I press this button that's lighting up, it takes me directly to the settings and the game. Then when I press home, it seems to take me to the iPhone game center. So far, I'm pretty impressed. Once again, that is what the back looks like. And if you're curious, the camera is not obstructed. That is what the actual bumpers look like. These buttons are pretty simple. They're very light to touch. And I'm very impressed with how quickly I was able to get this set up and going. All right, so my final thoughts, I think it's very fun to use. It's easy to set up and the build quality definitely seems good. So I'm not worried about this breaking anytime soon. It is pretty heavy, I will say, but it's probably not any heavier than a switch or something like that. But overall, I really like it. And that is it for this review of this iPhone gaming controller.